Could the best NCAA team beat the worst NFL team? The last video kind of blew up, so let's continue the series. Oh, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1K. So without further ado, here's the next video in this chapter. So I've seen a couple of videos on this before, but all of them have been like Madden simulations or on another topic or like 16 years old. And this is an interesting question because this has not happened in recent memory and honestly, it would be pointless for both teams and will never happen with college players opting out so much and NFL teams not trying to embarrass themselves. So obviously the best NCAA team this year was the Michigan Wolverines, this time for real. And although I wanted to put the Bears as the worst NFL team, uh, that was as wide open as you could get. It was obviously the Carolina Panthers with rookie QB Bryce Young going 2 and 15. But what if the two teams actually played each other? So Michigan set some incredible records in 2023, including being the first college team program ever to pass a thousand wins in a season. But the most recent record was the fact that they sent 18 players to the combine. 18 players. While some of you might be thinking, big deal, 18 players. The reason that this is huge is because Michigan grew and developed each of these players. Alabama currently has 18 five stars on their team. Michigan only had two five stars on the national championship team, one of which was sent to the combine, JJ McCarthy, a likely top five pick. For those of you who are curious, the other was Will Johnson Jr., the player that kind of locked up Marvin Harrison Jr. in the game and had a game altered pick. But Marvin Harrison Jr. did Marvin Harrison Jr. things and still ended up with five receptions for 118 yards and a touchdown. And this crazy catch. Steps up in the pocket. Throws it deep. McCord! Caught at the 40-yard line! Maserati Marv! And a flag on the play! The point of saying all that was that NFL scouts love players that can be trained and developed especially if they can snag them in the later rounds, which is why so many players from Michigan went to the combine. Well, they also won the national championship. I can't remember one certain player from Michigan who ended up going in the later rounds, and I think he turned out to be pretty decent. Okay, so they had a lot of combine players. Big deal. But if we're being realistic, probably less than half of the Michigan 2023 roster, under and upperclassmen included, will end up being starters in the NFL less than half. The transition is so tough and definitely not guaranteed. We've seen this time and time again throughout the NFL. Okay, so moving on to the Panthers. We all know how bad the Panthers were. I mean, they sucked. They were 2-15 and, and yet Bryce Young still found a way to beat CJ Stroud. Of the Panthers' 11 starters on offense and 11 starters on defense, about 8 were all Americans. Michigan had 4. Unfortunately, there's not a ton of comparable stats, but I think it's definitely important to take experience into consideration. The Panthers were the 20th oldest team in the NFL this past year and had a lot of experience. The Panthers do have some pretty big dudes, but I'm pretty sure that Michigan has a larger line than most of the NFL, averaging somewhere around 6 foot 5, while the Panthers were somewhere around 6 foot 4. Me personally, I think the Panthers would win quite simply just because they're an NFL team, but I think we know who's the better QB. And taller. But let's not talk about height for much longer, or we might start making some jokes. Bruh. Truthfully, I think the Panthers would crush Michigan, and I'm a Michigan fan. But the phrase, any given Sunday, reigns supreme. Football is random and confusing at best, but to me, I have the Panthers, and the Panthers have the edge. I'm not saying it's impossible for Michigan to win, but I think the Panthers would win by like 20. It would certainly be an interesting matchup, but again, I don't see any way that this happens in real life. Thanks for watching this video. I have a bunch more in this series, so make sure to stay tuned and subscribe to Growl Football. I'll see you next time on Growl.
high i know when you text me girl i don't always reply well you're not an angel either you can't even fly i know this you think that you know all this shade that's coming at me i wonder who does it they can't see the vision boy they must be out of focus